Phylum Mollusca The Mollusks The Mollusca phylum is the second largest phylum in the animal kingdom. The phylum is extremely diverse in species, body structure, size, behavior, lifestyles, and the habitats and regions they are found in. While diverse, most mollusks share certain characteristics. First, mollusks are soft-bodied animals. Mollusks have a specialized muscular, broad, ventral foot, which is chiefly used for locomotion, but it's also used for Burying and digging Adhering to a substratum Grasping prey, feeding, and moving items Note, the foot is modified into different forms in some species. Mollusks have a visceral mass located above the foot that contains most of the internal organs. Mollusks have a fleshy mantle which is a heavy fold or folds of tissue that cover the visceral mass and contain glands that secrete a protective shell. Many species can withdraw the head or foot into the mantle cavity that is protected by the shell. Note, not all mollusks contain a shell, or it may be reduced or modified in some species. Most mollusks have a rasping, tongue-like organ called the radula, which is a protrusible belt of teeth. The radula is used to tear, cut, scrape, or pierce food. It's used like a conveyor belt to carry food toward the digestive tract. No other organism outside of the mollusca phylum has a radula. Note, not all mollusks have a radula. Most mollusks are found in marine waters, but others can be found in freshwater and brackish waters. Mollusks include herbivores, carnivores, filter feeders, and some are parasites. Lifestyles include bottom feeders, burrowers, borers, and pelagic forms. Mollusks are typically divided into eight groups or classes. They include Cotophoveida, Selenogasters, Monoplacophora, Scaphopoda, Polyplacophora, Gastropoda, Bivalvia, and Cephalopoda. Classes Cotophoveida and Selenogasters. Both Cotophoveidans and Selenogasters are small groups of marine worm like deep water mollusks with no shell. Their bodies are covered by a cuticle and distinct spines called sclerites. Cotophoveidans are mostly filter feeding burrowers. Selenogasters live free on the bottom and they often live and feed on cnidarians. Some Selenogasters lack a radula. Class Monoplacophora Monoplacophorans are a tiny group of small animals with a low, rounded single shell and a creeping foot that lives at the bottom of the deep sea. Class Scaphopoda Scaphopods have a tubular, curved, tooth-like or tusk-shaped shell that is open at both ends. That is why scaphopods are called tusk shells or tooth shells. They live buried in soft sediments like sand or mud on the ocean floor, using their foot to burrow and dig for food. Class Polyplacophora Members in this group are called chitons. Chitons are marine animals with flattened bodies and a shell with eight separate but overlapping dorsal plates. They are sedentary animals with a row of gills along each side of their foot and they can use their foot to adhere firmly to rocks. Class Gastropoda Example gastropods include land and freshwater snails. Marine snails such as conchs, whelks, and periwinkles. Land and freshwater slugs. Marine slugs such as nudibranch, sea hares, and sea butterflies. Finally, abalones and limpets. Gastropods are the most diverse and largest class of mollusks, accounting for about 80% of mollusks.
Most gastropods inhabit marine waters, but others are found in fresh water, brackish water, or terrestrial habitats. Snails and slugs are the only terrestrial mollusks. Most gastropods have a single shell called a univalve. They can be spiral shaped, or they can be flattened like a cap. Others, such as garden and marine slugs, have no shell at all. Gastropods are usually sluggish because of their heavy shells. Class Bivalvia Example bivalves include oysters, clams, mussels, and scallops. Bivalves are aquatic animals with compressed bodies enclosed within a hinged shell. Each half of the shell is called a valve and that is why they are called bivalves. Their two shells, or valves, are held together dorsally by a hinge ligament that causes the shells to gape ventrally. This layout allows their foot to project ventrally for movement. Bivalve bodies are laterally compressed. So that means their shells or valves are on the sides of their bodies, not the top and bottom of their bodies. Bivalves have large, strong muscles attached to the shell that permit the animal to open and close its shell. Most bivalves are marine, but some live in brackish and fresh waters. Bivalves are the only group of mollusks that lack a radula. Instead, they filter feed by using their gills to capture microscopic plankton and organic matter from the water. Most bivalves are sedentary, however, scallops are able to swim by clapping their shells together. Class Cephalopoda Example cephalopods include octopuses, squid, nautiluses, and cuttlefish. Cephalopods are the largest and most advanced of all invertebrates. Most mollusks are sluggish animals, but cephalopods are fast-swimming, active predators. They are all found in marine environments. Nautilus is the only cephalopod with a shell. They have a coiled shell with many chambers that can fill with gas which allows them to float or swim. The shell of most squid is reduced to a thin strip called a pen in the mantle. Cuttlefish have a small, curved shell, called a cuttlebone enclosed by the mantle. Octopuses do not possess a shell. In cephalopods, the foot is divided into grasping limbs and a siphon which are attached to the mantle. These flexible limbs include arms and tentacles that surround the central mouth. Arms have suckers along the entire limb, and tentacles have suckers just at the end of the limb. These suckers are used for seizing and holding on to prey. Octopuses have eight arms and no tentacles. Squid and cuttlefish have eight arms and two tentacles. Nautiluses have no arms and around 50 to 90 sticky, suckerless tentacles. In addition to arms and or tentacles, cephalopods usually possess two eyes, a mantle, and a funnel, also called a siphon. In addition to a radula, the mouth is equipped with two strong horny beaks that are used to kill prey. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.